it is very important that we are able to balance what is considered sacred and pillars of the country, like the constitution and Kunagara and our history, real history, yeah, not history uh, sometimes that is too official, uh, and our culture, and how we balance that <clears throat> with the new realities of today. Uh, I, I don't want to go into details of what the new realities of today are. Uh, if we are able to balance between uh, what is considered sacred and the pillars and what are the new realities of today, then I think we can come up with a more moderate, uh, sophisticated approach to things uh, that is happening around us. I'll give you an example. We all subscribe to the idea of democracy. But at the same time, we have our rulers. And we have all agreed that, at least in the constitution, that it is a constitutional monarchy. Flashback to the debate in some states. Now this you have to be very careful. <laughs> <laughs> some people who cannot come to grapple with what participatory and deliberative democracy, which is exactly the new stage of democracy that is happening now, then you will be able then you won't be able to understand why it doesn't really matter if it is a lady or is a wife or who, whoever uh, would become uh, you know uh, uh, the chief of the tribe. See, I'm trying to be. Uh, okay. So if you are not able to grapple with uh, what is happening, then you have to probably fall back to something that was once in history. Then you go back, say, for instance, to the caliph. I'm not talking about IS here. Yeah. And then you bring back this argumentation about uh, they used to be a caliph and, and so on and so forth. But that is not going to solve Islamic view on politics. Because the old caliph was there those days at a time when there was such thing as Kafir Harbi and Kafir Zimmi, when today there's no more Kafir Zimmi. Pardon me for using those terms because those are real terms anyway. You know why? Because whoever there is Kafir, I mean non-Muslim, they're not only paying tax, they're not only in contract with you, they are citizens, they have voting rights. So going back those, to, to those kind of uh, argumentation, it's not going to help. So you have to understand and you have to be able to be comfortable to live with what democracy is all about. So it's about the value.